One of the most famous constellations you can see in the night sky is Orion the Hunter. It's visible towards the south throughout the winter months. But these stars won't be there forever. One in particular is nearing the end of its life. My name is Anna, I'm one of the astronomers from the Royal Observatory in Greenwich and today we're going to be looking at what will happen when Betelgeuse dies. Betelgeuse can be found at the top left shoulder of Orion. If you look carefully, you can see that it is red in colour. As stars run out of fuel to power them, they cool down, expand and get redder. Betelgeuse is currently a red supergiant star. Because it is so massive, over 10 times the mass of our sun, soon the core will collapse and cause the star to explode as a supernova. To get an idea of what we will see here on Earth when this happens, let's take a look at a supernova remnant that can be found nearby in the sky, the Crab Nebula in the constellation of Taurus. This supernova was first spotted by Chinese astronomers in 1054, who recorded seeing a light so bright that it was clearly visible in the daytime sky for 23 continuous days, and nearly two whole years worth of nights. The star that exploded to form the Crab Nebula is estimated to have been similar in size to Betelgeuse and 10 times further away from us, so we can expect a sight easily as impressive, if not more so, when Betelgeuse goes supernova. But just how soon will this happen? Well, an astronomer's definition of soon is not quite the same as the average person's. Yes, Betelgeuse could explode any day now, but it's more likely we're going to have to wait another 100,000 years.